مش ريما لما بدك نبلش اصور احكي لي اه
I try to summarize the reading in my own words. I read paragraph one, and I try to write down the stages of thought for paragraph one, because I'm going to read it very quickly to give the teacher the main idea about what is the topic about. I have no idea. You're going to tell me what is the topic about. Very good. So I might be summarizing very quickly in my own words every stage of thought related to a, every particular paragraph. What else? Yes. I don't translate into my native language. I try not to translate into my native language. I just read and try to understand. Okay. Any other strategies? Yes. I skip and study words. I skip any words that are not necessary. Okay. I connect the reading to other material I have read. I try to connect the material, like what we have said here earlier. I connect the material to what I have read earlier, because I really need to read and understand. Okay, what else? Any other strategy that you would use? Yes? I use my knowledge to, uh, of the world to help me understand the things. Very good. I use my previous knowledge. Mm -hmm. I try to use my previous knowledge here, trying to use this information to do what? To help me understand the context. And this is what we plan to do today. We're going to see how we are going to use our previous knowledge to try to predict what is coming here in the next class. Okay. Now, what is the title? What is the title for? Another perspective. Okay. And we're going to try to understand what do we mean by another perspective. Now, as you see from the picture, who can tell me what do you see? What do you see in the picture? What do you see? People, persons, a family. A family consists of? We have the mother, maybe, grandmother, children. Okay. Okay. There are sisters. How many sisters? Three. Three sisters. Or two. What do you see? How many are how many sisters in the picture? Three. 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 So do you think how old are they? In their twenties maybe. And they are with their mother. But we could certainly see that one is older than the other. So we have the eldest. We have the youngest, and to whom do we have in the middle? We have the middle child called in the middle. Now, is this a big family? This is a small family consisting of three members. Okay. Now, what I would like you to do is to ask the student next to you about your family. How many sisters and brothers do you have? And try to see whether the person sitting next to you is the middle child, the youngest, or the eldest. Okay? So try to come out with the information. Ask how many members in the family. And try to come out with another question. And write down the information to speak about each other. So try to interview each other about family members. Very good. Two minutes you have for this. So look next to you and try to ask try to ask the student next to you about the family. And try to see what is the position of the person in the family. Very good. 